away on Tuesday afternoon. The six-month-old puppy, whose breed is not yet known, was seized by police. Its owner has been questioned on suspicion of having a dog dangerously out of control. A Bournemouth cookery class has been using food as a way to help young asylum seekers feel more settled in their community. Students are encouraged to practice their English whilst learning how to prepare a meal. Robin Montague has a story. This is a cooking class with a difference. Why do I love what I do? Because I never get up in the morning thinking, oh, I've got to go to work. Sally runs a free workshop for young asylum seekers in Bournemouth. I've been coming for about three years now. It makes me feel happy because there's a lot more people like me and there's different people and I get to learn new things about other people, make new friends. Yes, my education. And the people is kind and friendly. It takes place once a week and is funded by the Borough Council. It helps me, like, know how other people feel being around the world, but it also makes me feel really unique. Students practice their English while learning how to prepare a tasty meal. They have no English, really, or very broken English. Um, they're often very scared and frightened, and they've been through an awful lot, and they have sometimes have malnutrition issues, which can lead to back problems and digestive problems, all kinds of things. And so it's really lovely when they come along and they start making friends. The project is run by the Friendly Food Club, who work with Unity and Vision to help asylum seekers feel more settled. We are all about getting people to open up and be more comfortable with themselves. And we do it through food, and they do it through talking to each other and making friendships. So we kind of, it's a good way of grouping together. I mean, I, it's hard to even imagine what that experience is like coming over somewhere new. I think the food is just the, the medium for how we get people to open up. The groups are looking for volunteers to lend a hand. I love it, it's the best job I've ever had to be honest. You can see the difference that you make to people and you can see people change positively. So, what's the best meal they've learnt to cook? Probably the roast dinner today because it's something that would normally happen. It was uh, fish and chips. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Robin Montague, BBC South Today in Bournemouth. That's a great idea, isn't it? Really good. And the food looks fantastic. On to sport. Tony's here. Football then, really? That's right, yes. It's kind of really, really going now, isn't it? We're getting to mid-August. All the leagues are underway. Yeah. We've got kind of a bit of wintry weather, which makes you feel very much like the football season is hitting us. Uh, this season, uh, our Monday Premier League roundup is going to focus more on the personalities, but the players and the management. After all, I think you actually know what happened in the games by now. We'll start with Bournemouth's victory at Aston Villa. <laughs> Bournemouth's first win, an away one too, came after winning an early penalty. 